Hi, this is Mr. Kelleher. Um, we're, today we're going to be uh, installing the uh, packages of bees that we ordered for the school. Um, obviously with the school canceled, um, we can't have the bees at the school because somebody has to babysit them. So I'm going to do them at my house for now uh, through the summer and if all goes well we'll bring the bees to the school in the fall. Uh, so yesterday I went to um, New England Beekeeping up in Tingsboro, Mass um, and picked up my bees. So they come in a three pound box. It's called a package. So inside here there are all the worker bees, probably some drones. There's food for them and the queen is in here. So <clears throat> I have my hives set up. We're gonna do two, two bee hives. So I have my hives set up here. Um, this is called a deep box or a brood box and this is what the bees will start laying in. They'll start in the middle, the queen will start in the middle and work her way out to the edge and it's my job to monitor when she gets close to the edge I add another box on top. You can pan over here. You can see I have uh, empty boxes um, so unfortunately the bees that I had at home um, I've been checking on them, on them weekly and feeding them weekly and I came out on Saturday to feed the bees and they were all gone. Um, my thought is is that they were struggling really bad. They barely made it over the winter and um, I thought maybe they had swarmed away but um, I was just looking inside and I found the queen um, dead in the bottom. So she was dead. Everybody else was dead, so um, I have extra extra supply, extra boxes here that I won't be using. Okay, so inside the box, <clears throat> you guys have seen the frames, right? This is a frame. Okay, it's got foundation on it, and in and in each individual cell is already pre pre laid out so that the bees don't waste time designing their thing it's already designed for them so they will start building this out so what I have each box holds 10 of them so in here I have nine of them and then I have a new thing that I picked up yesterday it's a plastic feeder um, I didn't have very much success with the other feeder I think that was part of the reason why the bees left um, so I'm gonna try to a different feeder uh, feeding bees is simple um, one part, well, uh, one gallon of water to a five pound, a five pound bag of sugar. Um, I boil it down to so that it, um, it 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 dissolves. The sugar dissolves in it, and I let it cool, and then I bring it out and I pour it in. So here's my sugar water. It also has a little bit of uh, um, some bee nutrients that I picked up at the store yesterday. Some amino acids that are good for the bees, um, and some proteins and stuff like that. So the idea is, is as soon as you feed the bees, that tricks them into thinking that they, they are going to like this hive and that they're going to keep this hive their home because the food is right inside with them. And they will start sending bees out to find food while they're eating the food in here. And that will, get, that will stimulate the queen to start laying the eggs and to start getting the hive going. So at this point, the packaged bees, they have, they have, uh, they have no honey. They have no home yet, except this little shoe box. Um, so they're gonna be, um, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty calm. It's, it's a little cool out, it's warmer than expected today. Uh, yesterday it was like 35 degrees and raining. Um, these bees came up from a farm down in Georgia over the weekend. So um, the, way you, the way I'm gonna start by doing it is, <clears throat> I have a bunch of tools with me in my toolbox, in my little tool bin. I have a spray bottle that's full of sugar water. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to spray them down uh, in the box and that, um, that takes their mind off of the fact that I'm going to be working in the box. Um, so what they'll do is, is I'll start, they're probably a little hungry so they'll start eating the sugar water and not paying attention to me very much. Okay, I have a, a utility knife, I have a pair of pliers, uh, needle nose pliers, I have a pocket knife, and I have a, I have a, a, a this is called a hive tool. It kind of looks like a, a, a little mini pry bar. 
um, it's exactly what it is. It works perfect for um, getting into the hive. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in and I'm going to pull out three frames so that it gives me room to work. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to take the queen and then I'm going to put the queen in there. And the rest of the bees will follow the queen a little bit. I'm going to shake the box until the bees go in there. They're going to follow the queen and start, um, uh, start paying attention to the queen. She's going to give off pheromones as to where she is and they will start uh, going through the hive and, 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 and seeing if they like it. But first, before I do that, I'm going to feed them because if the food's here, they won't eat me. out of the way over here <clears throat> shoot where did that rag go stop for a minute okay so we're back sorry I forgot my cloth rag in the house but that's okay <clears throat> so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the oh we're gonna spray the bees down <laughs> with the sugar water Okay, now, hopefully all the bees start eating and don't attack me. So I'm gonna gently pry the cover off. And I'm gonna open it gently. Can you get closer? So you see in here there's a tin can. Okay, that's a tin can full of sugar syrup that they, uh, they put in there to feed the bees while they were in here. They've probably been in here for a week or two, and they got one little guy, one little girl that's... We're gonna start her up. She'll be the first one. What do you want to name her? We'll name her Cindy. Okay, and then this little tab. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna gently... This tab is holding on to the queen that's in the hive. So I'm gonna gently lift with the pliers the tin can out I'm gonna try to cover the rest of the bees in here I'll let a couple out that's okay we'll put that there what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pull, oh, there's a lot of bees. I'm going to pull the queen out. Okay, so all I have to do is, where's my sugar syrup go? If I spray the sugar syrup in on the hive, they're probably a little hungry. And I shake them down inside. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see if the queen is active and I'm going to get close and you can see she's in there Okay, she's got a blue dot on her. I got a marked queen. It's a lot easier when you're doing a hive uh, Inspection is if she's marked Okay, and then on the end I have two ends <clears throat> Okay, one then is is both ends have um, a little cork on it <clears throat> this end over here has um, has uh, uh, cotton balls with uh, sugar syrup in there for her to eat. And then inside here, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna take this cork off and you're gonna see inside there, there's a piece of candy, okay? So what happens is, is it, the queen, if the queen will instruct her workers to go in and eat the candy so that she can get out and start laying. So I'm just going to gently <clears throat> take my pocket knife Get my 
stinks. Take my pocket knife and get this piece out. Okay, and then the candy is in there. So I have a, the other thing I have is a little paper clip, and I'm just gonna poke a hole through the through the candy to kind of help start the process. And I'm also going to use the paper clip without hurting the queen to help stabilize the queen's uh, the, the little queen's box in the hive. So now, can you get closer and look down? They're not, they're not flying, so they're fine. So now you can see, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put the queen in, in between two of the boxes, <clears throat> with the sugar side up. Take this little tab off, toss that on the ground. And I'm gonna pinch And I'm going to pinch a couple of frames together so that she's upright. I'm going to add a couple of frames so that she's in there. I like to start with her in the middle, right? Like we said, she moves from the inside out. You can already see that some of the bees that are active are already starting to eat the, uh, the uh, sugar syrup in the feeder. <clears throat> Take this one out. I think I'm going to use that to cover it. And then take these two out. Okay, so now comes the fun part. You might want to back up now. Oh, great. Okay, so they're a little. Now comes the fun part. <clears throat> now, bees are bees are fine. You can see them buzzing around me. I am literally going to take and shake them into the box. They're going to fly everywhere. There's probably there's three pounds of bees in here. There's probably 15 to 20,000 bees in here. All we're gonna do is, is we're gonna try and get as many out as we can. By tapping the sides. The rest, they're still in here alive. Um, they don't wanna come out today. So I'm just gonna leave this next to the hive and they will, they will figure out how to get in here. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna do is, is I'm just, that's it. I'm just gonna start putting the frames back in. Trying my best not to squish people, but it's inevitable. Can you zoom, can you get closer now? They're not as busy as I thought. Oops, one just got me, my armpit. So we're going to try our best to get all 10 frames in here. Without disturbing them too much. I might just be able to get nine and I'll probably come back tomorrow and do the 10th. So one other thing we're going to do is I have this little frame expander that gives the bees a little bit of extra room. Okay, one of the things that I don't think I did enough of <clears throat> with the other um, bees from last week, last year, <clears throat> is I have these things that <clears throat> are co they're called um, pollen pucks or pollen packs. <clears throat> so <clears throat> each one is made out of a mixture of pollen and honey. And we're gonna just, we're just gonna stick it on top. This is another thing that will help them stimulate uh, the queen won't start laying until she figures out if there's food around. And this is a good way to trick them into thinking that, that there's a lot of food around right now. So we're just going to lay this on top. Where's my lids? Nope. I'm going to go get my lids. Forgot them. 
I got my lids. We're gonna put the inner cover on, the inner cover and the outer cover. Okay, so the inner cover allows a little bit of um, air, uh, air gap in the top so that not too much humidity forms inside the hive. And we'll put the outer cover on ever so gently. There it goes. And that's it. So I can, I, you want me to do the second hive while you're still rolling? All right, so we're gonna do the second hive. Um, you can see if you pan over to the second hive, some of the bees are already kind of going over to the second hive. I'm gonna do this one a little different. <clears throat> Why not have some fun and experiment? Uh, pretty much the same setup. Um, these hives, these hive boxes are brand new. Yes, I painted them pink. It was the color can, uh, color of paint that I found down in the basement uh, that had a little bit left. Uh, it's supposed to be like a terracotta orange color, but it never turned out to be that way. Stop laughing at me, kid. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm just gonna set this up. I want to put, I want to put the food as close as I can to the, to the middle. I'm gonna do it all over again. So, whoop. I'm gonna get my bees everywhere. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my my sugar syrup. I'm gonna fill that up. Oh, sorry. Everybody give a shout out to my son Aiden, who's behind the camera. He's the professional uh, media person in the family. Okay, so next, let's see. So I need my sugar water for my second box. We're gonna spray them down pretty good. Believe it or not, it was a little chilly last night. Believe it or not, these were down in the basement. Um, don't tell my kids or my wife. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing all over again. I got my hive tool, my pliers, my knives. Just gonna take the hive tool, take the cap off. and try and get this can out. I'm gonna take the cover that I just took off and I'm gonna to try to trap as many bees in there as I can. Um, they're not too active, so I'm not worried about it. Tomorrow they'll be pretty active. Be nice and toasty tomorrow. Okay, got my can of sugar syrup. I'm gonna take this tab, remember this tab is the queen. I'm gonna to try to Shake off as many as we can. Try not to crush anybody. Ooh, there's a big drone. That's a good sign. <clears throat> We're gonna tap this in here. Get rid of it. And you can see our queen again. Look, you got two bees on your finger. Okay, another blue dot queen. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, I forgot another paper clip. Crap. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this time with this little tab. The tab will work well um, to help hang the hang the bee on the on the edge. Um, so I'm gonna take my pliers. I used my knife the last time, but the knife was terrible, so I'll try the pliers. Okay, I got it out. I don't know if you can see closely. Is it zoom? You can see the candy in there. Okay. And she'll be all set. So she's gonna sit right here. There. I'll just drape her in here. Okay. You wanna get closer? Okay, I put her in a frame right next to the bees. 
I'm going to take one of these out here just to help support her so she doesn't fall in the little matchbox. So it'll take her a couple, it'll take the, uh, uh, it'll take the worker bees a couple of days to, to eat the candy to get her out of there. So I'll come back tomorrow and I'll check on the progress. I'll probably record it. Um, we'll come back and refill those feeders. Um, and then I'll probably won't come back Thursday and Friday. It's going to rain maybe Saturday or Sunday. I'll come back when it's nice out. Um, the bees will be pretty active um, uh, out taking foraging flights. Uh, the good news is, is I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, we bloom pretty late here in my, uh, my side of the town. So um, I've got raspberry shrubs behind us right here that are starting to get um, buds on them. Um, the sugar maples that are right here, um, they don't even really have any buds, but uh, there, there is a, a good amount of stuff um, that is still um, in bloom around here. Um, and like I told you before, you know, bees like to go out about five miles um, on their flights. You know, a mile down the road, I have, um, you know, the bee farm. Maybe not even a mile, a quarter mile down the road is the bee farm that I always talk about. Um, he's got uh, 800 of these uh, 800 hives down there right now um, so my our queen will be able to go on mating flights and mate with those drones and get a little diversity in in uh, in the hive which would be pretty cool but these bees should be all set and ready to go um, it's not too it's not too uh, not too cold out anymore uh, what I'm thinking of as I'm doing it is is <clears throat> this little bee feeder I don't want to dump all of the bees in the bee feeder and let them drown. So I'm just going to use one of these frames to cover the, the holes where the sugar syrup is. Um, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to do again what we just did. And I'm going to take it upside down and we're going to shake it. I'll stand over here, bud. Okay. Ready? So these ones, the sugar syrup, the sugar water that I've dumped in there must have been pretty good because these guys are, I'm pretty much getting them all out of the box. And like I said, there are about 20,000 bees and knock on wood. I actually only got stung once a couple minutes ago under the armpit. Um, Hayden's got a couple of bees. He's got a full suit on. He's got a couple of the bees, uh, crawling around his head, no big deal. He's 11, so if you guys are high schoolers afraid of it, 11 year old is braver than you. Okay, so I got a lot more bees out there. They'll be fine. It's like a roller coaster ride for them. And I'm just gonna stick this down close to the entrance. The entrances to my hives are here. Okay, they face east um, so that uh, they get sun right away. And um, as soon as they get sun and the hive starts warming up, <clears throat> they, uh, they, can, they go out and they start their work. Okay? Um, so I'm gonna leave these two frames out just for today. And uh, because of the, um, there's a lot of bees in there and they gotta, get, they gotta get acclimated, they gotta spread out. I don't wanna crush anybody. But it's pretty cool if you look you can see some of the bees are actually crawling down the uh, uh, down into the feeder. On the sides of the feeder, there's um, like little um, uh, little little uh, like a little colander with little holes in it. <laughs> little colander with little holes in it, and the bees can get down in there. It's called a bee ladder, and they can get down in there. Can you see it? I don't have a, a light. And you can see my son is showing you all of the bees. Um, they're alive, they're fine. They're pretty, probably still swarmed together uh, because of um, last night being a little chilly uh, or this morning being a little chilly. I pulled them out about uh, 11 o'clock this morning trying to get them used to being outside and the cold weather helps slow them down. Ooh. So I'm just brushing the bees away from the entrance here. Um, I don't have another, uh, I don't have another spacer. Um, I don't, I thought I had one. I, I might have it up at the house, but um, that's it. So I'm gonna add my pollen pack. 
you can see the bees have already found the pollen pack. It's got wax paper on both sides. The other one didn't. I'm going to take the paper off of one side. It's literally like fondant. If anybody's ever uh, uh, used fondant to, to, make, uh, to make cakes, to decorate cakes with, it's what it is. It's just made out of pollen. Um, during the winter, I go and I buy fondant from uh, Michael's or wherever, and I roll out a piece of fondant and I put that in here uh, to help them um, for food. Anything that's sugar, they'll eat. So that's the pollen pack right next to the feeder. And my lid is over here. Look at, they're already clustered on this. So we're gonna leave this, these sections pretty close to there. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on backwards just because I don't have the spacer. So try your best not to crush anybody. Um, the good news is, is there's not one bee, there's 60,000 of them or 20,000 of them, so you hurt one, there'll be more. So, okay, and that's it. That's it for today. This is the first time I've done this. Last year I bought hives that were pre-done. I bought a hive that was pre-done and uh, I didn't like it because they were behind. They were very behind. I didn't get it till the end of May uh, and I struggled all winter, summer with it. Um, but these ones, it's something different. So that's it for today. More videos to come. Mm.